Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. So today I am nowhere very exciting. I'm just in the back garden and this is a stone ledge. It's a brick ledge and I just saw it the other day and I thought this is perfect. I could probably do this outside and it's just nice to be in the great outdoors, to be outside, to capture some different energy uh, and yeah, I don't know, it's just better sometimes. So feel free to pick from between groups one, two or three. I have no idea what I'm going to call this episode. I've got quotes uh, in the quote jar from Dr. David Hawkins. These are all his quotes and it's all from the book Letting Go which I'm in the process of rereading. It's a really fantastic book. So, yeah, I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. So if you chose group number one, you are absolutely in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Now, as with any of my readings, you guys know what I'm going to say. Take on board what resonates and please discard anything that doesn't sound like it's for you. Okay, so the first card is new beginnings. Isn't that beautiful? A new dawn, a new day, a new beginning. Next card is exchanging gifts. And we've got this beautiful pink color, which is the color of the higher heart. That's lovely. And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. interesting we've got the seventh house it says here this is the house of partnerships <clears throat> apologies about my voice guys here is where we can see the personal relationships that involve commitment or cooperation of some sort now that word commitment it's a very Saturnian word and Saturn is exalted in the seventh house Marriage, spiritual union, agreements, societies and business partnerships. Agreements, definitely contracts, all that kind of thing as well. But <clears throat> this is very much the house of the other. Okay, so you see the first house is the house of the self and the seventh house is the house of the other person. It's anybody you're in a relationship with really. But it does, it is the place of love and marriage and all that beautiful stuff. Okay, now we've got the page of cups upright. And I hope these blue, blue green colors, I hope they come up on the screen. They're just lovely. <clears throat> Apologies about my throat. It's just, um, okay. Nine of cups in reverse. Right. So what do we have here? Well, guys, this is very clearly a spread. It's all about love. It's very much about love. This is a new beginning in your love life. So whether you're with someone uh, if you're with someone, this you can see these cards in the context of a new level of closeness, a new level of intimacy, uh, a new level of, of being together in a very loving way. <clears throat> this is really, really lovely energy in this spread. I'm so sorry about my voice. This is the second time I'm recording this. I had to stop midway through earlier because, uh, yeah, so there's, maybe there's some clearing that's needed throat chakra wise and that is we see that here with this blue blue color which is quite prominent and it's a blue greeny kind of a color which is kind of a combination we've got that blue greeny kind of color here too which is a combination of the throat chakra and the heart chakra we've also got here bright beautiful pink which is the color of the higher heart okay so you've got the green of the heart you've got the pink of the higher heart and you've got the blue of the throat chakra so this is very much a spread of new love you know uh, there's new love on the horizon if you're single this is wonderful okay I do believe that this is a brand new relationship that's coming in for you which is so lovely Right? See, I think you, you've either manifested a new level of love in your existing relationship or... Oh, hello. 
There's a magpie who wants to join. Oh, how incredible. Would you like to come on the screen? Because I've got this terrible... I wonder if I can show you this. We've got, basically, a little magpie that wants to join. Say hello. Oh no, you're going away now. You're shy. Okay. <laughs> How incredible. He turns up when I do yoga in the mornings and um, he just hangs out. How sweet. All right. Well, <clears throat> welcome, uh, magpie, Mr. Magpie. I have no idea if it's a Mr. Magpie or a Miss Magpie to know. Um, but you know, I, I also tend to think that it's largely women who watch the tarot readings. Are you sticking around? Wow, this bird doesn't want to go away. Okay, now, now you, you're shy when I bring the camera on to you. <gasps> okay, right. Let's get back to work here, okay? <laughs> How funny. <clears throat> it's new love. If you're a man, it's a new bird, okay? You've got a new bird on the horizon literally you have got you've attracted new love and this is very exciting and I'm very very happy for you so maybe you've been in a situation where you're waiting now this is the card of the man who <clears throat> is basically taking forever when this turns up in a love reading this is the man who's strategizing planning thinking orchestrating he's trying to figure it all out through his mind he's not using his heart he might be afraid of his heart that's quite possible as well but he's trying to figure out do I give my heart to this person you might have had as a, as a lady who's you know you might have had someone like this on the scene this is in the reverse position so this is either indicating <clears throat> that this person really wants to communicate with you and will communicate with you so there's that um, that he's not going to keep waiting around anymore maybe he's going to go and be with someone else okay that's a possibility he's not he's not waiting around you're not waiting around there's newness here though and <clears throat> oh sorry my throat is just a disaster in this one so I don't know what's there is some clearing needed or something because my th throat has been fine all day so something a bit weird um, going on here and that there's clearing needed and I think it's someone who might be afraid to speak to you it's quite possible and either he's gone away or doesn't want to do this anymore or whatever <clears throat> but what I know is that if you're a single person and if you've been doing the work if you've been doing your spiritual work and you're, you're on your path you're good you know what it is that you want and that and and you're doing all the work you're doing all the right stuff there's a big message in this spread that has come to say you're not meant to be alone okay <clears throat> you might have been alone for a long time and you might be thinking well that's just how my life is i'm just not meant to be with anyone you know um that's not true this the message in this spread is that you're not meant to be on your own. The nines in tarot, they're all about solitary enjoyment of something. So <clears throat> this is the nine of cups. Cups is water, it's emotion. Nine of cups is about you on your own, solitary enjoyment of emotion. This is self-love. This is I'm happy on my own. This is, you know, I, I, I'm very content. I feel like my wishes are being fulfilled. I'm enjoying my life. Things are great. This in the reverse position, I believe, is kind of message from the divine saying that you might be this. You're very strong. You're very good on your own. That's true. But actually, you are meant to be with someone. And that's going to be really important for you. That is something that the divine wants for you. And deep down, I think you want that for you too. <coughs> so we've got the page of cups here. Have I spoken about the Page of Cups? It's been a very interesting reading. We had a bird turn up. Like, <laughs> when I recorded this earlier and I had to stop because my voice pretty much packed up altogether, there was a little fly that appeared on my uh, hand and it was a blue-green kind of 
fly and we got the blue green thing here and this was about this is about communication and in that reading that I had to stop I was saying that you know there could be a need for you to speak to someone or that they want to speak to you I do think that if there's been someone on your scene and they've been reluctant to speak up I think they might I think they might be like, do you know what, I, I want to talk to that person. And they will. I, I think they will. I think there could be a message coming in. But ultimately, I think it's a message. This is a bigger message from the divine that is saying, don't give up on love. If you're single, if you're on your own, if you're in a relationship that's not working, don't give up on love equally. Okay? Because within that relationship things can always heal things can always improve and let's let's take a look at this let's take a look at the healing that's possible because this is david hawkins from the book letting go he is all about healing <clears throat> so either you're a single person and there's new love on the horizon or you're in a relationship and you're going to experience a new level of love a new level of intimacy a new level of closeness the divine is very much saying to you partnership is right for you you should be in a partnership. You should be in love. It's a, it's a good thing for you. It's, you know, Chuck Spezzano says that being in a partnership is the fastest vehicle to spiritual growth. If you want to grow spiritually, people think, oh, I should be on my own and I should be on a mountain. No, be in a marriage. <laughs> like that is going to be, you're going to grow fast in a marriage, let me tell you. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, I've never been married, but okay, here we've got a little fly thing but you know anyway let's see what we've got going on here but I know because like yeah my parents have been like they were married and anyway <laughs> um, my parents and various friends of mine and everybody who tells me about their love life like I know boy do I know okay the degree to which we have not allowed ourselves to experience the reality of our true self is represented by our resentment towards those who have actually done so far out wow okay i wasn't expecting this one to come in this reading yeah that is interesting the degree to which we have not allowed ourselves to experience the reality of our true self but you know this isn't for you i don't think because we're going to get another one because I think you've I think this being in the reverse position is very much saying you're good at being on your own. You're fine when it comes to being on your own. Maybe you maybe there have been some resentments. Look, we all have this. I mean, look, I, I relate to this. I relate to this. It can this can be seen as a bit of a, a jealousy thing as well um let's take another one because i don't that that doesn't really suit this reading <laughs> let's see what else we get there's loads in there well there's a few uh okay wow this is interesting the person who suffers from inner poverty is relentlessly driven to accumulate on the material level. David Hawkins, yes, that's this man here. I tell you what, look, if you've been, if ladies, you've been waiting for some man and you're waiting around and he's not turning up or whatever, which is so often a woman's experience because we have to wait, you know, and that is the truth of love, life and relationship. I believe I'm an old fashioned lady i believe you have to wait for the man to ask you out if he's not asking you out it's not going to happen and what i see with this quote is that is exactly the knight of pentacles because this is the man who wants to give his love or his pentacle or he wants to share his wealth with someone but he he can't he thinks, oh, I need to accumulate more wealth before I am good enough for her or whatever, right? That kind of thing. That is the Knight of Pentacles. That's why he's taking forever to get on and make something happen. And it could be that this person who is trying, that 
And this could be, look, if you're a man watching this, um, maybe this is a message for you. Maybe you need to hear that, like, that's not what women want. I don't, women don't want to marry your bank account. They don't want, they want to be with you, you know? And that's important. So if you're a lady listening to this, yeah, there's a few, there's a few different people who this could be for. I do think this could be for women who are waiting to find the love of their lives lives he, he's he is coming there's a new beginning it's it's going to happen for you and you're meant to okay now if you're a man listening to this and look at that not allowing yourself to be your true self if you're a man listening to this what you need to know is that a woman wants to be with you and your true self that bird is still hanging around over there. Oh my god. Oh, and now singing. Hello. What an omen, guys. Well, whoever's here for this has picked a great one. Um, yeah, look, if you're a man, don't worry about earning all this money or something. Just ask her out. You know, do this. Do be, be the page of cups and, and ask her out, whatever, or tell her you love her or something. Or Well, don't do that. That's too much. Say, hey, I think you're really nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and there's that bird. Bird's going away now. There's too much going on in this reading. Guys, look, I think I'm going to leave it there. We're at 15 minute mark. It's an extra long one as well. I hope this has been a good reading. Let me know in the comments below how this went. I, there's just so much here and it, it's beautiful. Okay, that is the ultimate message. The energy from this is like so beautiful. No matter what's going on, things are going to improve. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have a lot more love coming in. I can tell you that for sure. So hang in there, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. The bird has just about it's gone onto the grass. It's, I think it's going to fly away now. Uh, that's the end of that. All right, well, let me know in the comments below how you get on. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, you are in the right place. Let's take a look at what's going on in your cards. There was a magpie that turned up in group number one. I just have to tell you that. And the magpie is just about to fly out of the garden now. But that was an interesting reading. So let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, action. Look at that. Beautiful. Bit of stormy weather in here. Something to bear in mind. We've got the here and now card. Okay, so there's the past, there's the future, and there's you, hopefully, in the here and now. Number 32 there, five, adds to five, and that can be a number of change. All right, now for tarot, you've got. Hang on. Oh, there's a bit of dust. Well, it might not come up on the camera. No, it's not coming up good. Um, so this card is very dusty. Uh, seven of Wands. Guys in the upright position. Got this card conjunction. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't because a lot of people who tune into these and uh, you know some things will resonate some things won't and if it's not your reading you can watch another video do something different uh, okay nine of swords upright okay and we've got the knight of swords in the upright position all right well this this is a pretty uh, full-on reading here there's a lot going on here there was a lot going on in, in group number one, but that, that was very positive energy by contrast. And in this reading, oh, got a mosquito wanting to bite me. That is fascinating. Okay, we've got a mosquito wanting to bite me. Yes, we do. I tell you what, there's a lot. There's, oh gosh, and I kind of want to... See, because with mosquitoes, gosh, because they eat you and then it... Is annoying it itches for days all right <laughs> that didn't come in for no reason that is fascinating because i do think you're going through some kind of situation involving attack okay or attack energy is here 
you're not in an easy spot right now and uh, that is for sure and what I'm seeing through these cards is that well the card this card came up conjunction which is really quite interesting conjunction is everybody's in one house and this could be a situation where you're living in a chaotic household or everybody's in one house or you've got family that's visiting or everybody's stuck in one house there's something about your house maybe or home environment or home situation that's a bit of a pressure cooker at the moment and I feel like from these cards you're being asked to defend yourself okay uh, the seven of wands here is very much a card of you have to oh see this mosquito it's coming in and it wants to attack it wants to eat me move I'm seriously oh god like I want to no go away it's I know it's not good to kill them but sometimes <laughs> sometimes you have to okay sorry about that <laughs> Funny how that mosquito has just turned up, right? I haven't seen a mosquito for days, weeks, in fact, because it's getting winter time here. So that is very interesting. Um, you're having to defend yourself. Look at that. I was just having to defend myself against this mosquito and I don't want to kill it. And killing is not the answer, I'll tell you. Um, you have to defend yourself. You have to take action. You have to I'll get a strong vibe that you have to take action. You have to defend yourself. You're going to have to draw boundaries. Okay, this mosquito has to go. Go. No. Oh. Right. Sorry about that. I don't know if I'm going to cut that out. I think I'll leave it on. What are you going through, group two? This is intense. This is like so full on <laughs> waving away a mosquito. Yeah, but you have to draw boundaries. I got a vibe as well that this is no space for a people pleaser, pleasing time. You cannot be a people pleaser. Uh, you have to defend yourself. You have to take action. You have to, and you have to be in the here and now. Okay. The other big message that's coming through is this is not a time for escapism. This is not a time for you know, um, just, oh, just shut your eyes and hope it all goes away. No, you're needed. Okay, you have to do something. You have to do something in this situation. And I do think that it, it's going to be a tough situation. I feel like, okay, here, one time, this was reminding me of this one time in life, I was required or basically asked by my divine guidance to kind of call someone out. And I didn't want to do it. I, I'm not that kind of person. I don't like fights. I don't like arguments. I don't like confrontation. I don't like doing any of that. And I was being asked to do this. I was being asked to pick up my sword, get on my horse, act, be in the here and now, defend myself and, you know, call out the craziness, basically. It's not nice. I didn't want to do it. I did it. I knew it would hurt some people. And it did. But it was the truth, you see. And it's very difficult when you're dealing with the truth, you have to. When you have the truth, you do have to do something. All of these cards are upright, and all of these cards are good. I know the truth is on your side, and I know. I know that you know, and I know that maybe you defending or putting up boundaries or saying no or calling something out, it might be painful. It might be difficult for you. And you know that it's going to cause pain to somebody else as well, I do think. But it, it kind of feels like this is something that you have to do. This could be a work situation as well. This could be a work situation. It's something about too many people in the one space. Or too many people, uh, or you're conjunct, you're stuck in there. And there could be a feeling of stuckness as well. There could be a massive feeling of stuckness. I think we're going to have a look and see what David Hawkins has to say about this. What's going on here. Um, let's take a look. I'm going to take that one. Because he's always got great advice and great guidance to give. And it's interesting that mosquito is just about cleared off. Unless it's eating me and I don't know. Wow. Take a look at that. I mean, of all the quotes to get, this is brilliant. Greatness is the courage to overcome obstacles. Yes. You're being asked to be 
courageous. You're being asked to push through. You're being asked to, and yes, the pushing through or the something it might cause some pain. Uh, it might be difficult. It might be hard. But unfortunately, this task has come to a lovely, nice person like you, you know, and I do think you're probably non-confrontational. You don't want to argue. You don't want to call someone out. You don't want to be mean. You don't want to be do any of that. But, uh, but the situation will be greater. Look at that word greatness. The situation, the whole situation and everybody in it will be better off and greater because you've done what you've had to do right let's take another one and see what comes through just out of curiosity it's so fascinating the magpies come back do you want to come closer magpie do you want to be on the film do you want to say hello should we take a look have a look at <laughs> oh how funny okay well it's been it's been an interesting day Let's see what else we've got. So we've got a bird here. The, the bird is being very peaceful. And yeah. What do you want, bird? Come quite close now. You want to say hello to everyone? Oh. Do you want to sing us a song? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all been a bit stop start today. Oh, look at that. This is just sensational, guys. Group two, you are on the brink of something huge. When we heal something in ourselves, we heal it for the world. You're, you figuring this out and acting and resolving and alchemizing and doing something with this situation, the healing that you discover, whatever it is that you do here, I, I, I mean, it's, it's going to become available to the entire collective consciousness. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And I think what my advice and encouragement here is, is keep going and don't do anything out of character. If you're a nice person and it's not your way to tell someone off or be angry or, you know, defend or attack or do these things, do it in your style. Do it, do it in a nice way, but be truthful, be honest, speak up call out the thing if you have to stand your ground this is very much a time of you stand your ground you put your feet firmly in the ground i am here i exist i have something to say and you can listen or not listen you know it's, it's all this kind of thing and you having the, the yeah the, the courage to to be you, to be kind of that, I'm thinking of sort of, well, I'm thinking of that image on my website, actually, the lighthouse with the waves crashing around it, your lighthouse, there's going to be waves crashing around you, but you're a house filled with light, and you just got to emanate that, you've just got to be the beautiful light that you are, how fascinating, we've got a spider turned up now, my god, this has just been jam-packed today, wow, this is fun doing this outside. <laughs> um, yeah, that lighthouse, the waves are crashing around you, but you're the sane one, you have the truth. And just be kind, just be kind to everybody. Know that, look, they are where they are. Love everybody still. Don't be uncharacteristic. Just because you have to call someone out or you have to, the, the situation is making you having to attack somebody doesn't mean or defend D but defense and attack are very similar they say defense is the first form of attack right oh man i don't like this whole thing like i i've had to defend i don't like to have to do it uh, i know exactly where you are but i i have done it and you do become more powerful and you do go up in life it, it, but you see and some people make a, a thing of that they kind of get addicted to that and um yeah, you're not that person, so don't worry. You're not going to do that. Group two, I'm wishing you strength. I'm wishing you courage. I know you're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going through right now. And take good care of yourself. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you feel like it. Um, or just drop me a like or, or whatever. But thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. 
Hi there group three, if you chose group number three, you're in the right place. Let's take a look at the cards, let's see what you got. Okay, as with any of my readings, know that not every message will be for you. These are general me readings and lots of people are tuning into these. Oh wow, you've got the relaxation card. This turned up, I think, for group one, I think, a few readings ago. So that's so interesting, it's come up again. Because I shuffle these cards really well. Because <laughs> I always want to see a different card. <laughs> but then the same one turns up. Well, this one we haven't seen before. Look at that, a leg up. I didn't even know this was in the deck. I love this. It's beautiful. We've got vertex. Now I had to look this up a little bit because we don't talk about this in Vedic astrology, but in Western astrology they do. And this is a situation where fate or destiny takes over. This is a point, it's a mathematical point in the sky that they calculate and use and very much it shows and we've got here karmic point, sinistry, fated connections, turning point. It's a point where God pretty much takes over. It's quite profound. Okay, we've got the emperor in reverse for tarot. This is so interesting. You'll see why. <laughs> I won't spoil it just yet. I'll let this card come out first. Seven of Cups in reverse. And then we've got the Emperor again. Have a look at that. Blown away. Like two different decks. You got the Emperor. That's the most incredible part of this reading that two different decks shuffled extremely well brought the same card twice what are the odds i'd love to meet a statistician i'm sure that there are some significant odds because 78 cards in each deck get same card twice this one's in the reverse position this one's upright what this spread is saying to me is that i do think that you're on the kind of brink of some form of mastery and it's very exciting. I think you're, you're it's, and it's, it's, kind of, it's extremely refined. The work that you're doing is, is very, very, very refined. So you are learning how to work with your intuition and you're very much learning and mastering how to work with the divine. So when, when do you put your foot on the accelerator and when do you relax and when do you stop and let the divine do what the divine has to do this card is coming strong very strong and is saying divine is saying i really want to work with you massive message coming across this because we've got this and we've got this so this is the card of destiny this is the card of god wants to take over he wants to help. Okay, and I'm using he, but one of the ways I see God is very much that God is the all is one. Okay, we are a part of that all is one. So, therefore, a little part of you is God, right? And so there's a very special uh, part of you. Well, the all is one basically wants to work with you and wants to work through you. But it's a matter of you knowing when to stop and let the divine do what it has to do through you and it's an art and it's this is a lifelong art this is not something that one masters in a day this is the kind of thing that and this is the kind of thing that like jazz musicians get really good at they get really good at knowing how to step aside and let the music flow through them and you can imagine how long it takes to become, like to master an instrument, you see. Uh, that's the emperor here. The emperor, yeah, the emperor, when you get to emperor level in life, it's like you're at, you're at that mastery point. You're the jazz musician who's refining, okay? And you're very much refining when do you step away, when do you let the energy work through you, 
and believe me I'm like I feel like such a baby when it comes to all that stuff like I'm working with it more and more all the time because of what I do now for a living mind you I was kind of working in this way when I was you know I was writing in advertising I used to there used to be moments where things would just get written through me and it was amazing so I guess I've had practice, but now I'm, I'm sort of like a baby in a new world. Uh, but you guys are at some level of significant mastery here in your craft, in your work, in what it is that you are doing. And because when it's you, when it's down to you, wow, there's a lot of choice, isn't there? There's a huge amount of choice. It's like, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. When the divine takes over, well, something is being done through you. Okay, it's not about you constructing or it's kind of like you step aside is, is really what what happens. And that's wonderful. But I think it's and I think it's about you relaxing uh, about this and allowing it more and more. But equally you stepping in when you have to, because you, you, you know, we're, we're dealing with the other side of the veil. It's like. There's a synergy, there's a synastry, okay, and it's sure. But it's like, and last week, I'm pretty sure we talked about it being a slow dance, didn't we, for group three? And, 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 but it's like you're getting deeper into this and you are mastering it even more and the fluidity is, is, is improving, I think, massively. I think this spread is a bit of a you know congratulations you're doing extremely well type spread as well this is a spread of um you know you're doing great so keep doing what you're doing but just it's about relaxing not knowing when refining it's, it's really a refining thing here that i'm getting so we don't have too many of these left because i think i did two for each of the other groups i did so we'll do two for you as well I didn't think I would. These are all David Hawkins quotes. So you will see that these are all the same. Let's have a look. Ooh. The world can only see us as we see ourselves. Wow. Wow. In the context of this spread, this is gorgeous because you're refining how you see yourself. Maybe you're coming to, to some new levels of mastery. Maybe you're seeing yourself in a better light than you've ever seen yourself before. And maybe you're taking your self-love to newer and newer heights. And it's amazing that the more you do the self-love thing, it's like the selfless you become as well. Like, and you're more there for others. It's quite incredible. So it's a kind of a refining of that one seven axis in astrology the world can only see us as we see ourselves because you know that fame is there in the seventh house and yourself is in the first house fascinating let's take another one let's just see what what else comes oh i mean we can do the last three why not let's just take them all <laughs> so otherwise i just put them in the recycle bin if i don't use them so let's see what's left here okay Ooh, oh amazing amazing well let's let's leave that one actually because this is so amazing that i'm just like now let's let's leave this this is great desire especially strong desire frequently blocks our getting what we want yeah look at that this is about surrender this is about you see because you really want to excel and you really want to do brilliantly and you really want to do well and you you know so much so that you're like oh my god do i do, do this do i do this do i do this like yeah i get like this i get like this quite a bit sometimes i get like that on the youtube dashboard which one am i going to watch first like <laughs> sometimes that's my problem in the day but um that you're being asked to even to let go of desire you know frequently blocks our getting what we want frequently blocks the divine working through you and the divine very much wants to work through you oh these bits of paper are going i don't want them to go in the neighbor's garden hold on sorry about this it's quite fun doing this outside but it's also potentially quite hazardous okay divine definitely wants to work through you I mean, that's for sure, you know. 
and you might actually want that very much you might want that very much you might be like, well, yeah i'm always praying and i'm always wanting that and i'm always you know when am i not acknowledging the divine and when am i you see but if you're if the desire is too strong even for the divine that can block the divine from working through you amazing reading absolutely amazing beautiful stunning energy here and it's like uh, refinement mastery it's very high level type stuff here it's just gorgeous so group three i i wish you very well uh as as you as you create and as you do your, your journey you're doing very very well group three all the groups are doing fantastic um this time just, we just we did have a few animals i will tell you quickly in group groups one and two we had this magpie turn up twice and then these like mosquitoes and spider turn up and man everything okay thank you so much for tuning in and if you enjoyed this please um, leave me a comment or a like below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can um, but things have been pretty busy lately so apologies for any delays in messaging but um, thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time